In today's video, I'm going to be taking over Manchester United and Manchester City for 10 seasons. So here's how this is going to work. We're going to take over Manchester United for five seasons and try and win as many trophies as possible with them. And once we're done with that, we're going to do the exact same thing with Manchester City. And in the end, we'll compare with which club we managed to win more trophies. And stuff like who scored the most goals. I think we all know it's going to be Haaland though. Now I have used the mod to give me all the updated transfers for this video so Lisandro Martinez, Christian Eriksen, they're all at Man United and players like Erling Haaland and all the other Manchester City signings, they're at their respective club. All right, this should be a spicy takeover battle, although I think it's a bit one-sided with how OP Man City is, but we've got five seasons to win as much as we can with Manchester United, so let's get this one on the way. If you do love these takeover battles, I'd appreciate if you could drop a like, subscribe, and let's begin. Today's video is sponsored by Top 11. Top 11 is a free-to-play football universe in your pocket. The game puts you in charge of creating your very own football club. That's right boys, look at that, I've got S2GFC in top 11. You're literally in charge of everything in top 11 from creating your own team of superstars to creating your own stadium and customizing it to your liking and of course all the stuff on the pitch too like running training, setting up formations and tactics. And of course you're doing all of this ultimately to try and win trophies. Also guys, it's the perfect time to get involved and start playing top 11 because top 11 2023 is now live with an extra special launch season there are new action-packed campaigns a lot of new features arriving and of course the brand new 3d live match system is getting some awesome new upgrades by the way talking about the 3d live match system that is honestly game changing for top 11 the game has never looked this good and you know what's the best part top 11 is a free-to-play game available on ios android huawei microsoft store and the web browser you can play wherever you want. As I said, my favorite feature of Top 11 right now is the 3D live matches. It honestly brings the game to life. I feel so much more connected to my squad. It's so much more realistic. The depth and realism now Top 11 offers you with their new 3D live match system is awesome. So, what are you waiting for? Download Top 11 and begin your football management journey. There will be a link in the description to download the Top 11 app, or there'll be a QR code somewhere that you can scan and get downloading and playing Top 11. Let's now now get back to the video. All right, so we're kicking things off with season one. Yep, we're going to start with Manchester United. One change we're going to make in this takeover battle is after the five seasons with Man United, we'll start a brand new career mode and do another five seasons with Man City. I feel like that's the best way to keep it fair. Okay, so I think it's obvious this Manchester United team needs a new CDM. I don't know why they don't sign someone. Also, replacing Cristiano Ronaldo is something, I don't know, we probably need to do, but I don't want to do it in the first season because guys, we're competing with Erling Haaland at Man City and that insane Man City team. I'd rather keep Ronaldo and have any sort of advantage we can get, even though he's going to probably leave Man United very soon. So we'll keep him. We get two transfers to make in the first season. Good chunk of money to spend. Let's first get that CDM position sorted. By the way, players like Van der Beek are back at the club, so squad depth wise, we should be good to go. Honestly, I would love to see this transfer happen in real life. Someone like Ndidi signing for Manchester United. They're missing that classic holding midfielder. We'll make it happen right now. He'll he'll be expensive but we can only sign two players so it makes sense spending big money on even one of them. I'm also gonna see if I can swap in Fred in this deal. Like, I don't really rate him all that much. If we can chuck in Fred, get this deal done with a 30 million swap deal. 38.6 million. Brendan Rodgers is willing to help us out here. Perfect. And there you go, boys. We've got our first massive transfer done. One more player to sign but where do we, you know, invest money in? Let's actually put Ndidi into that starting 11. No, not Van Der Beek there. Ndidi over there. Perfect. Where else do we need to sign players? I think we've got good depth for centre-back. As good as... As much as you want to hate on Maguire, he's still 82 rated. We'll keep him on the bench. I want Lisandro to start. Full-backs, I'm okay with Malakia. Hopefully, will grow to be a better player than Shaw. Juan Bissak is fine. It's... Maybe we can do with some depth in the left-wing position. Someone better than Marcus Rashford. Because I don't know what's happened to Rashford these days. He's, he's playing more like a rotational player than an actual top class starter. I see him and I, ju I just don't feel he's the Rashford of old. I don't know what went wrong with him. Sancho's good though, but I think we'll get a top class left winger. You know what? This takeover is a five season, so our approach should be a bit different. We can get away with getting a few older players and I'm thinking, let's break the bank and bring in Neymar. He will legit give us a solid four or five seasons and if we want to compete with Man City for more trophies, we need to invest the cash. But can we even afford Neymar? Oh my god, Neymar 
Neymar is so expensive and Kremot even. Wow. Okay. We might not be able to afford Neymar. That's going to be an issue. That's going to be a real issue. Okay, we might just be able to afford him. I'll have to figure this out, boys. I'll have to figure this out. We'll have to chuck in 110 million as our next offer. They're willing to do it at 120. Yo, they're selling Neymar at a very reasonable price. We'll go 115 million. Perfect. That seems like a decent deal from what I thought he'd, he'd cost. I feel like with Manchester United, we're the heavy underdogs in this challenge. So we'll need to do something extra like signing Neymar if we're going to be successful in this takeover. And there you go. Neymar is a Manchester United player. How have we pulled this off? Okay, Rashford, I'm sorry, but you're being dropped to the bench and it's going to be Neymar to take his spot. We've got Neymar and Ronaldo playing together. Boy, this, this could be fun. All right, so I guess we're done with our signings for the first season. Let's get through and see what happens. All right, we're at the end of the season and let's see if we get some trophies in season one. Highly unlikely with the way Man United are playing these days, but we finished second in the Premier League. You know what? I can't complain. That is actually decent, but with Neymar and Ronaldo in the same team, you probably expect a bit more, don't you? Did we win any of the Cups? Oh, we lost the FA Cup to Man City. We're not even controlling them and they're outclassing us. No Carabao Cup. Come on, at least the Europa League. Bro, I can't believe this. I can't believe this. Man City is going to be so easy to use and beat Man United's trophy records because we just got duped from the group stages of the Europa League, not even the Champions League. This is sad, but that does eventually mean we get put into the Conference League and we win a trophy. So ultimately, it's the same result. One trophy so far with Manchester United. We'll take that, I guess. Yeah, I kind of figured out what we need to improve next season. Probably a better midfielder than Eriksen and some other positions as well. Ronaldo dropping in his overall so quickly. That's something we'll, we need to address. Also, Ronaldo at the same time still scored 32 times. Wow, Neymar though on another level in terms of assists. 24 goals and 21 assists. Our front three was good this season. All right, so first season, Ronaldo and Neymar have put up some competitive numbers. So let's see how this goes. All right, so for season two, I think it's pretty much confirmed. We, we need a better midfielder than Christian Eriksen. Also, I'm unsure whether we should replace Ronaldo or not this season. I think we should. He went down by three ratings. Uh, and that actually has an effect on the stats and all, I think, in the future seasons. We already got bummed out in the Europa League with Ronaldo in the team. In the Champions League, I think we need to get rid of him and bring in someone else. So a striker and a midfielder is what we're looking at. I think the midfielder signing is simple. A player Man United want in real life, but a player that does not want to join Manchester United in real life. But honestly, we've got the money. I think we should do this. I think we should sign Frankie de Jong and add an 89 rated player. That's the only way we're going to even compete with Manchester City for trophies and everything. So we're going to have to dish out 199 million. Are you, are you kidding me? What about 150? Would that be a lot more calm? 174. Can I chuck in, say, Christian Eriksen into this deal and get like a good 50 million discount or something? Boy, I would love that. 140 million plus Eriksen and that works. Bit of a discount putting Eriksen in. There you go. That was simple. Frankie de Jong's in. All right, what's James Garner doing there? Let's put Frankie de Jong in there. Perfect. Now that midfield looks insane. 88 is the lowest rated midfielder we've got in that starting 11. Now, time to replace Ronaldo. Now, who can I get for 160 million in that striker position? The more I think about it, maybe we don't need to sign another striker and I can put Marcus Rashford as our striker. That makes a lot of sense. So I can have Elanga on the bench and just convert Rashford to a striker and have him play instead of Ronaldo. That should work if Rashford can be converted into a striker because I feel like there aren't many better options in that striker position than someone like Marcus Rashford. It'll take him oh, 32 weeks. That's way too long. That is way too long. We can't do this. That's a bad idea. It'll almost take a season to just convert him. We'll have to sign a new striker. Okay, I have an idea. I wanted someone higher rated than Ronaldo and there aren't many strikers that fit the bill and well, Harry Kane was one of them. So we're going to make this happen. To do so, I might have to send Ronaldo to Spurs, which I don't think he's going to be too pleased about. But oh well, it's life. Ronaldo, you're going to head to Spurs then. We're going to have to pay 99 million plus Ronaldo for Kane. Well, we've got the money, so let's just get this done. Gotta say, it's been an eventful second season signing an 89 rated Kane and an 89 rated De Jong. All right, boys, we're back in the Champions League this season. The team is looking a lot better. Let's start racking up some trophies. Well, we could get another trophy if we can beat the team that we're trying to face in this takeover battle. Community Shield final, Man United, Man City. Can we win an extra trophy? We can. Let's go. We beat Man City in this one. Come on. That's, by the way, trophy number two. Ah, oh, we miss 
out on the league title again, given the advantage to Man City. So far, only two trophies, which included this community shield. What about the FA Cup and the Carabao Cup? We aren't getting any of that. Uh, trophies aren't coming by easy at all. Let's see what we did in the Champions League. At least we didn't embarrass ourselves in the group stages. Round of 16, we knocked out Barcelona. And this is a Barca with all their transfers. We knock out Manchester City. Let's go. Semi-finals, we knock out Liverpool. What even with, with the fixtures we had? And we're in the final against Sevilla. This is a golden chance to win the Champions League. I don't think we'll get a better opportunity than this to win the Champions League, boys. Let's not mess this up. We gotta win it right now. And we do. Harry Kane and Sancho scoring. Come on. That is a big relief. Three trophies with Man United. Oof. Neymar. Oh my god, what a season he's had. 36 goals. I think he's gonna be our top scorer, you know. Sancho did well. Kane. Bit meh. But I guess he got the best out of Neymar and Sancho in a way. We'll take that. Neymar has been the king for us at Manchester United. All right, for season three, there's only one thing I want to do, and that is get an insane center back to just help out the defense a little bit. So let's try and sign Kim Pembe. I think it's time to say goodbye to Harry Maguire. It's finally time to get rid of Harry Maguire, and we're going to send him to Barcelona. They don't want him, and why am I not surprised? We'll just pay the cash and get him then. Oh, we get a transfer offer from Maguire from Chelsea. Well, we'll let him go. And there you have it. We've just signed Preston Kim Pembe for Man United. Right, let's put him into the team. Where's Martinez? I think he'll go on the bench. Kim Pembe can go right into the starting 11. That's more like it. That's more of a back line. I think we should be able to win the Premier League with this. Let's get through this season. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of disappointed we finished third again in the Premier League. What more do we need to do, man? We even improved our defense. At least give me a few cups. Come on. We lost the, the Carabao Cup final as well. How are we gonna beat, you know, Man City like this? Champions League, we topped our group, but Inter knock us out. We were in the UEFA Super Cup. That could be our saving grace this season. Yes, indeed. So we at least make it four trophies with this. Four trophies in three seasons with this team is... I don't even know what to say about that. Anyway, stats-wise, what are we saying? Harry Kane, this time around top scorer. Although Neymar and Bruno are still killing it. Neymar is still the boss. Okay, I've got a strategy for the new season, and that's just getting the best possible fullbacks, because maybe that's what's holding us back from winning the league. So for the left-back position, we're looking to get Theo Hernandez. I'm gonna put in Luke Shaw, maybe, in a swap deal? Um, yeah, I think we should. Or maybe not. Why? Why do we need to swap him out? We'll just keep him on the bench and just have a solid bench player like that. Let's try and get Theo Hernandez. 147 million works. Meanwhile, for right-back, there aren't many great options, but Reese James, I think, wouldn't be a bad one at all. Now, he is a right-wing back, so we'll have to convert him, but we're getting him on a discount, so that works. For this one, I think maybe I can chuck in Diogo Dalot in this swap deal and get him for, like, 40 million. I wouldn't mind that at all. Yep, it works. And there you go. We've got our two transfers for the season sorted. Theo Hernandez and Reese James. Okay, guys, I've just realized we've only got one keeper, and we've already used our two signings for this season. Let's just pray David De Gea does not get injured. Otherwise, we're modded. Surely this season, with all the signings we've made, we can win the Premier League, man. We're only on four trophies. With Man City, we might break that record in, like, one season. We finally win a league title, boys. What a freaking relief that is. Trophy number five. I guess signing two fullbacks was the way, because we also managed to win the FA Cup. Make that trophy number six. Don't think we won the Carabao Cup, though, but what about the Champions League. Oh, we got knocked out by Liverpool. But hey, still, six trophies in four seasons. A lot better than I thought. Although, look at Harry Kane, boys. 43 goals this season. Neymar's very lucky. Kane joined the season after. Otherwise, I think Kane would be our top scorer easy. But right now, Neymar is. And Neymar is in a pretty good position to be top scorer after five seasons. 111 goals. He's also our top assister. Honestly, all we need in this final season is a goalkeeper to just be back up. And that's all we're gonna do. We're just gonna sign Dean Henderson, who's playing at Nottingham Forest. Bring him back to Manchester United and just have him there. Available if needed. We'll pay them 40 million for him. Easy. All right, there you go. Dean Henderson's done. We've got our backup keeper now sorted. Let's just get through the final season with Man United and see what numbers we get. I think we really need a good competitive final season. If we can get ourselves the 10 trophies somehow, then I think we might be able to give Man City a bit of a fight. In our final season at Man United, we've managed to win the Premier League, so seven trophies. We also won the Community Shield against City, so eight trophies. Yo, these bonus trophies can be helpful. FA Cup, nope. Carabao Cup, uh, nope. Champions League. We're in the final against
against Liverpool. Now we're talking. If we win this, we'll be at nine trophies, boys. And that would be a very good number, but Liverpool beat us. Oh, so eight trophies is what we could manage with Man United. Bruno Fernandes top scorer in our final season. Kane had a slow one, but I still think Neymar should be good for like both the charts. So these are Neymar's numbers after five seasons. I'm very curious to see if Haaland can crush these. So that's the team over five seasons we've managed to build with Man United. I think we can do a bit better with Manchester City. It's now time to take over Manchester City. We need to win nine trophies to beat Man United. <laughs> Honestly, with this Man City team, even if we don't make any signings, I think we'll be good to go to win almost everything. Like, how insane is this team? Th that defense is ridiculous. The midfield is ridiculous. The attack is just insane. We can still make a couple of signings to improve it so we're gonna do exactly that i kind of want to use julian alvarez as a first team player and i think the only way we can do that is by making him like a left winger actually i'll do that i'll make him a left winger i kind of want to make phil foden a right winger i think that way yeah would be the best way to get the best out of both of them i think let's do it this way we cannot make the signings we made for manchester united when we are taking over man city i think that'll be fun i've been hearing so many rumors about bernardo silva wanting to leave so I think, well, let's make it happen. I'm going to send Bernardo Silva to PSG. In return, if we can get Marco Verratti, we'll have to spend 50 plus million. That just seems like a ripoff. Well, we'll reduce that to 20 million and see what they say. Well, see, we saved 20 million just like that. But there you go. Bernardo Silva has gone because he wants to leave in real life. And Marco Verratti coming in. There you go. That's the first signing done. And honestly, I don't even know what more we need to do. This Manchester City team is honestly cracked with Erling Haaland is well like where do we even improve even their bench is absolutely ridiculous like it's mental just how good they are we could maybe get like a top class right back i don't know let's just do that then hakimi we didn't sign him when we were at manchester united we can sign him now he's 85 rated i like the idea of this come on 107 million being paid for hakimi i think it's worth it and there you go that's our final signing for this season honestly i don't even think we need to make signings the next season as well because the team we've built is honestly cracked this bench is good enough to start for 99 percent of the premier league teams oh let's put kyle walker on the bench and then ashraf hakimi in the starting 11 that's my team for the first season i'd be surprised if we don't win the champions league wait what i, I don't believe this how on earth have manchester united won the premier league by the way if you guys remember we've started a brand new career mode to do this takeover with city so man united have their squad from real life i don't believe this at least we win the community shield one trophy no fa cup no carabao cup manchester united what at least in the champions league we topped our group over psg we got through bayern but then got knocked out by wolfsburg i can't believe we've only won one trophy this season and that was the community shield what an embarrassment i think manchester united might actually you know win this challenge honestly with this team how on earth have we not like by the way look at the growth on phil foden my good lord He's gone up to a 91. This team is honestly insane. How do we not win more trophies? I just don't get it. Look at the stats as well. Erling Haaland, 30 goals this season. Oh boy, I can't believe we didn't win more. So far, Haaland is on track to beat Neymar's record. Let's see how it goes. Not gonna lie, I genuinely feel we don't need to make any signings. This team is more than good enough to win everything. We just need EA to give us a bit of luck. And starting with the Community Shield final. If we can win this, that'll be a couple of good trophies. And let's go. That's exactly what we've done. Two trophies down. Oh, one more thing I forgot to mention. We've made Alvarez a left winger and Phil Foden a right winger. That's how we're going to run this team. With the team we've got, if we don't at least win the Premier League, this game is rigged. Bro, I can't believe this. How is Everton beating us in the Premier League? They should be relegated. I can't believe this. I really can't. Guys, the eight trophies with Manchester United is actually turning out to being a good score. We don't even win any of the cup competitions. We're still on two trophies. Champions League, I don't think we're in the final but let's just see um we knocked out dortmund okay we knocked out sporting we knocked out chelsea we're in the final against leipzig we gotta win this i don't think we'll have a better chance of winning a trophy than this champions league final against rb leipzig and thankfully jack Grealish scores the winner three trophies with man city after a couple of seasons the crazy thing about this man city team is still the overalls like just look at holland and phil foden how are we not winning the league with them i have no idea top scorers this season who is even surprised Erling Haaland, of course. 35 goals this season. Right now, Haaland is on track to beat Neymar's score, which
which is super. Guys, I just don't know where to improve this team. Man City are just so freaking good. Let's get through another season. Well, well, well. PSG won the Europa League last season. How did they get there? Well, we're facing them in the UEFA Super Cup. Can we get another trophy? Yes, we can. On penalties. That's trophy number four. That's a big one. I swear if we can't win the Premier League with a 95 Haaland and a 93 Phil Foden, there's something very wrong with this game. Oh my god, we finally won the league. Oh, what a freaking relief. Trophy number five in the back, but look at how tight it was on goal difference. We managed to just about win the league. Any of the cup competitions? Doesn't quite look like it. We lost the Carabao Cup final to Arsenal. Champions League, we got knocked out by PSG. So, yeah. So, after three seasons, five trophies, we need to win four more trophies to beat the Man United record. Bro, Haaland is 97 rated right now. This is wild. Is anyone even surprised Erling Haaland with a 40 goal season? This is wild. And De Bruyne as well with 17 assists. Haaland's on 105 goals already after three seasons. Neymar's record was 129. We're gonna beat that in the fourth season itself. Okay, you would have noticed there's one slight issue with this team. It's Julian Alvarez. For some reason, he isn't as, he's growing as quickly as you'd expect. So, I'm gonna make a signing, bringing in a left winger to, of course, improve the team. Honestly, I like the idea of Vinicius Jr. at Man City. I was gonna go for Ansu Fati. I sign him way too often. Let's instead get Vinicius Jr. We'll just pay the release clause, whatever, and get this signing done. That was simple. We've just signed Vinicius Jr. Surely we can now start winning everything. We'd still need to win three trophies in a couple of seasons to just equal, of course, Manchester United. So, need to up our game. That's our team. Let's get through another season. Bro, what? I don't get it, man. When we were Manchester United, Man City were beating us in everything. And now it's the complete opposite. I just don't get this. At least we won the Community Shield, making it six trophies. But man, this is getting way too close. I didn't expect it to be this tight between City and United. No FA Cup for us. No Carabao Cup for us because we lost that. At least the Champions League, maybe? Nope, we got knocked out by Marseille. We're now on six trophies after four seasons, which basically means in the last season, we'll need to win at least three trophies to beat Man United and two to equal them. How on earth are we in this situation? Erling Haaland again, top scorer, De Bruyne top assistant. These two are just running the show. Well, at least goals wise, Erling Haaland has already beaten Neymar. De Bruyne with one more season probably should get more assists than him as well. It's all about the whether we can win more trophies though. It's time for the final season with Man City. We need to win three trophies to beat the record, two to equal it. Let's do it. Every player in the starting 11 is 90 plus ready. The bench is solid. There's no way we're not completing this. We don't have any community shield or, of course, UEFA Super Cup to play. That means we've got to rely on the Prem, FA Cup and all. There's honestly a chance Man United might win because you just never know. Look at that. This game is so dumb. How is a 90 plus squad just lost their first game of the season? I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh my god. Now we're talking. We at least win the Premier League this season. We're up to seven trophies. Come on. Just one more to equal Man United. And we get that one more. We've equaled Man United as we beat QPR in the FA Cup final. That's eight trophies. Make that nine. We break the record as we win the Carabao Cup as well. Man City just about come out on top versus United. Did we win the Champions League? No, we don't, but who cares? We somehow win one more trophy than Man United. I didn't expect it to be this close. We've also managed to get Haaland to a 99 overall. And Haaland scored 53 goals this season. What even is Erling Haaland? He's a machine. He's an absolute machine. Bro, these stats are insane. Erling Haaland is a god. Look at the difference between him and Neymar. And also, De Bruyne managed to get more assists than Neymar. This was one of the most closest takeover battles. I didn't expect it to get this close, but it did. But if you enjoyed it, drop a like, subscribe. I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.